I'd like to make this video right now just to get it out there. And I, uh, this is the uh, 1943 uh, zinc coated one that is in perfect, I mean, absolutely perfect condition. Uh, if I ever get this thing graded, I mean, look at it. Look at the back. It's in perfect shape. Absolutely brand new. But this one right here is on a 10 cent planchet. It is a 1968 D. Uh, if I get a magnifier, it might be some messing up on the uh, letters there too and the numbers. But it's a 1968 D on a dime planchet. Um, this was this was a penny that was basically made with a dime planchet, possibly on purpose by a worker in the mint. They do these things on purpose to create some random ones of stupendous value. Well, this coin right here is in beautiful shape. I mean, compared to this one, this I mean, it's they're both just absolutely in beautiful shape compared to any of the other coins around them. Um, I got both of these coins in brand new shape, I would say. See, this is what, this is what the this is what the 43s uh, normally look like, and then you got these gems right here, and uh, I, they're so nice I don't even know what to do with them. You know, I just keep making random videos about them and showing them off, but I know that they're worth a lot of money, especially graded because they are likely over 65. Um, and this one is a big, big error. Uh, it's supposed to be this color, not that. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, these are the two coins that in the future I'm going to get graded. And, uh, they're going to really, really go for some high, high dollars signs, I, I, I imagine. Because... There's just not these coins. There's not very any of these coins in circulation, I would say. There's barely any. Um, and the fact that I find two that are absolutely brand new and one is just a complete error and the other is just absolutely brand new, smack dab, brand new in the middle of a roll that I got. I got a wheat penny roll and this one was in the middle of it. And it was shining bright like a diamond compared to the other ones. So yeah, I'm just pretty happy as a coin collector today. Because, uh, I mean, I've built such an amazing collection already. You know, I've built such an amazing collection already. Half dollars, quarters, drummer boys, nickels, wartime nickels, 44, 40. A lot of 40s. Got a buffalo. I got a lot of pristine pennies too. I made sure to get some pristine pennies. These are just 85, 70s that are just, some of these are brand new. And these are worth the most money. Um, these are worth the most money in this shape. Yep. In that shape, those coins are very rare because they are not... You are not going to find some of these 70s and 60s in perfect condition. It's just... It's a very nice gem to find. Yeah. Hope y'all have a good evening. And a good morning. I'm, uh... I'm just here chilling. Everybody has a, uh... Solid rest of your... Evening. Yeah. I don't know what to do about those coins, but I will figure out what to do with them eventually. But I know one thing, they're definitely worth a lot of money, that's for sure. Peace out.